The Syracuse Orange gunning for their fourth in a row. They take on the Eagles here at Cotty Forum. Right now, there's a lot of orange in this building. Of course, Syracuse fans show up everywhere. They love to see Jimmy Beheim stepping out and knocking down the three ball. Swider. Yes, nothing but net from three-point land. It's actually thawed over the last two or three days. Here's Swider again. Yes. Well, he's starting to heat up, and another triple for him. Torrance usually gives instant energy, banks it in for two. Defense! 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 But he lets fly again, and we've seen several games this season. You and I have called several orange games where he's gotten into unstoppable grooves. Syracuse on top by nine. Swider, yes! Boy, was that true. But this is what Syracuse was makes him so dangerous. Beheim, a little turnaround. It gets started for two. Great footwork by Buddy, going baseline and then the spin. But first, BC missed their first 11 threes. Gerard on target. He only had two in the first half. The success of the league next year, if you get a number of these guys, older guys coming back as Anselm, is able to finish off a nice feed from Gerard. Yeah, they want Swider to touch it as much as they can, the way he's shooting the thing. Here's Gerard again. Yes. Quinted Post, really good work there to keep it alive. And a block by Anselm. Well, I guess they don't need Edwards so much. <laughs> well, Anselm doing a great job covering up the rim as well. And another long distance three by Cole Swider. Bayheim had it knocked free. It came right to Anselm and it's gonna slam that one down. Closest since it was 26 to 20 Syracuse in the first half. Gerard gets it. And that will do it. Syracuse is going to come to Boston College and win again. Jim Beheim makes it seven straight wins over the Eagles. Final score tonight, 73 to 64. That's four straight for Syracuse.